All right, so we're here in week nine versus Boise State. They got a right end out for the season. Let's go ahead and get to the game, shall we? Hopefully this one will not take an hour to play. And Idaho or Wyoming is up to number nineteen now. Wow. There's six no there we aren't ranked yet, but that's okay. We haven't played anybody either. They must have upset someone good to you know, jump to where they would be ranked. Boise State's four and two, one and one in conference. Air Force and New Mexico both three and three. Colorado State's got a losing record. So really, it's us and Wyoming. We're and Boise State, I guess. But we got this rivalry game. This, this is why it's extra critical to win. All right, we win the toss. We will kick. I do not want the ball first. And so, like I said, we will just send the kickoffs. Alright, does it does this rivalry have a specific name? They have played for the Governor's Trophy since 2001, won every year by Boise. So yeah, this is a rivalry game. I don't think it has a specific name though. So I don't think it has a specific name. It is it's a rivalry game and they play for the we'll call it the Battle for Idaho. There you go, that that'll be our name for it here on this stream. I mean, even if we, if we ever do change conferences, we gotta continue to play them. Yeah, let's add that. Let's all right. We're gonna get them in the backfield right there. We're like, we're tired of you getting easy yardage on us. After this game, we should probably check the season stats. I keep saying that, but I keep forgetting. Oh, no. This battle for Idaho is not starting out so well. Our defense is getting demolished. And so, like I say, there's a reason why when I do, when I do the edit, edited video, the edited dynasty videos. When I play those games, there's a reason I try to chew the clock. I don't like my defense getting tired and playing like garbage, which we did on that drive. I don't think it is we're tired. We just played like garbage. That's the other thing is if we come up against a really good offense, run the clock, keep them off the field for crying out loud. Because they just crushed us. Things are not looking so good right now. I don't want to lose to Boise State because it's a rivalry. Air Force is 3-4 now. They lost to Wyoming by 7. Hmm. Hawaii beat New Mexico. New Mexico is now 3-4. and four. We're in danger of becoming 7-1, and one, but I don't want to lose to Boise State. Like, any of the other teams, like, alright, fine, we can lose them. But Boise State, they're our rivals. I don't want to lose to them. Jackson, let's go, buddy! Let's go! Kickoff return for a touchdown. 101 yards. Cole Jackson, welcome to the battle for Idaho. Oh, 
man, that was huge. All right, Cole Jackson with the kickoff return for a touchdown. So it's very quickly a tie game. Which that's not exactly keeping their offense off the field, but you know what, it is what it is. Hopefully our offense will just be all the more we're in to go when we finally do get on the field. Alright, so just like that, it's 7-7, thanks to... I forgot to send the kickoff, what am I doing? Oh, well, there's a the first down, and then they're going to go no huddle. We're going to go double safety blitz. We got to do something, right? I mean... There you go, Walker. Let's blow up Josh Weatherford. You know what? Two carries, negative four yards. Both plays been lost to two. There's he throws, but he was wide open. I don't want to be in goal line defense. Oh my goodness. Alright, well now it's second and five. They're going to go to the screen and nobody's home. Mitchell will finally make a tackle, but things aren't looking too good for us right now to be to be straight with you. <laughs> Weatherfoot just lost six yards. Albert Taylor is like, you know what enough of this. And he's hurt. Weatherford is hurt. Alright, second and sixteen. They throw an incomplete. Might we actually be able to hold them to a field goal? That would be unbelievable. I wouldn't believe it. Sack! Let's go! Brooks Scales. First time we've called his name all year, but. Welcome to the Battle for Idaho. We welcome any and all contributors into beating our rival and making this our state. And in the past, it's been very lopsided toward Boise State. I'm determined. I would like that not to happen again. They're gonna kick that away from Jackson. And then we're just trying to have a decent return. I mean, I think we got out to the 20. So. And they say 19, that's that's basically the 20. I don't like any of these play calls. We gotta make we gotta make it to where I like it. Oh no. It is we throw. I like ah oh, that that play was pretty much doomed. Just, I don't like any of these plays really. Like, I didn't really like any of the plays they had right there, so I was like, well, okay. I guess we can do this. Let's go with a design QB run. Alright, eight yards, that's big. This may even be four down territory, fellas. I'm not even lying. I'm tempted. If we don't get it, I may even go for it on fourth down. I, I'm, I'm being 100% honest. 
If you want to win a rivalry game, yeah, make gutsy play calls. Uh, here you go. It won't matter because Barron's going to come up with the first down. Let's go, Chad. Chad Barron, the fullback. I knew I liked fullbacks. You're going to help me win this rivalry game. Yeah. I don't like any of these run plays, really. Now I'm just trying to wait just a little bit. But the pressure's coming, I didn't have time to wait. <sighs> Not a good look. Yeah, see if we get down big, I may just sim it. I thought about simming the Air Force game, but I was like, but then it took us until the very end to get Ryan to 200 yards. And so I was like, no, I'm getting him 200 yards, and then maybe I'll sim. Just to save some time. But we're about to be down two scores with two minutes still to go in the first quarter. We got 144 yards already. 144 yards in the air in the first five minutes of the game. Ridiculous. Come on, defense. That was a backup. Well, boys, it's not our day, at least not our first quarter. Maybe they would give us plays that were actually good, but they haven't yet. Jackson, that is another nice return, Cole. I mean, he's had a hell of a game. I mean, not on defense. No one's done well on defense, but he's done well returning it, so that's at least redeeming him somewhat. Look out, here goes Ryan. He's loose. 27 yards, first down. That was his first carry of the game. How? How? Alright, we really gotta focus because they have been just marching up and down the field on our defense. So we really gotta control the clock if we wanna win. So that means riding Mr. Kenneth Ryan until the wheels come off. I mean, you're talking about being a dead horse. We're gonna, he's gonna be five feet under, like. Wait, that made no sense. But pretty much we're going to run it and run it and run it and run it some more. Because we need to control this clock. Right, if, we, if we can score on this drive, even if it's only a field goal, because we are going to get the ball to start the third quarter, remember? Because let's slow this game down. Let's give our defense a chance to catch their breaths. I 
That's what you got to do. Just give them a chance to catch their breath. Go on a time-consuming drive. Control the clock. Run the football. And it's not rocket science. And we're not going to run again in this quarter. We're going to let that clock take us to the second quarter. We're already 15 minutes in. Oh wow. That's the rivalry game. We're we're down by ten right now. But guess what? We're gonna control the clock because we got a workhorse back and Kenneth Ryan. So even if he doesn't go for like five yards every play, just keep running him a little bit and running him a little bit. And you know what, come the fourth quarter, I mean, in that first quarter, they kept our defense on the field. The rest of the game, we will keep their defense on the field. And come that fourth quarter, they're going to be tired. And these three and four and five yard runs are going to turn into seven, eight, nine, ten yard runs. And it will be glorious. We're going to go QB sneak right there to make sure we get that first. We just need points on this drive. I don't care how they come. Whether it be three or a touchdown on the ground or a touchdown in the air. We just need points. They had 104. Yeah, it was, it was bad. They had a ton of yards in that quarter. In the first quarter alone, the quarterback piled up 144 yards rushing. Or through the air, I mean. Not rushing. Also, we did not take advantage of the clock as well on that drive. That was my mistake. I lost sight of that for a second. Now we'll run it down to one to try and make up for that. A couple straight plays are just running that clock down to one second. We will run this down to one second and then we will snap it. Three yards there for Kenneth Ryan. Seven carries, 56 yards, not too bad. Averaging eight yards of carry. Alright, we're gonna go. We're gonna go play action and if we take a sack, we take a sack. But I'm not, I do not want to throw a pick in the red zone right here. Alright, so man in motion, we should probably send him in motion now. They baited me into that. I was like, oh, I can fit that in, and then he... Gotta be smarter than that. See, these two have really been my fault. These two interceptions have been my fault. That one especially. I like, oh, you know what? We'll be fine. But the, uh, I said pressure comes, take the sack. But I thought I could fit it in there, and I couldn't. Things are not good right now. Got greedy. I should have just stuck to him like no one is wide open. Just take the three. You're gonna have to fight back somehow. Things aren't looking good though. Like at all. We just gotta stick with it though. Come on.
Come on, Moro. Don't let him break you. There you go. They're probably going to go for it on fourth down. I mean, don't fool yourself. Like, do not kid yourself. They're going to go for it on fourth down if they don't get the first right here. Northern Zix, ready? Ready? They're going to go for it. Are you ready for this? Oh, they're going to kick the three. All right. Still only a two-score game, so I will be fine with that, no matter if they make it or miss it. We just, we got to get a touchdown now. A field goal is not going to do that much. Well, no, we need points still. Like, even a field goal, because if we can... We've got to get it to where the first try of the second half can get us to a one-score game. So they're going to keep kicking it to Jackson. If we can if we can get another just couple of nice returns like out to even the 30 or something, we'll be fine. All right. So passing hasn't really worked. It's going to have to come on the ground. And I thought about running it on that third down play when I threw the pick on the play action. I really did think about running it. But lately, Ryan's just had some trouble. They don't like us trying to run to the outside very much, I'm afraid. Alright, well, this is four down territory, so. It's already, it's, it's already four down territory. It's all, we've already played ourselves into that corner. So we're just going to go to try and set ourselves. Oh, we're going to get the first down there. All right, there you go, Ryan. I right, said, from here on, from here on out, at least until the end of this half, for sure, it's four down territory, and then maybe even after that. But yeah, we, alright, because at some point we also need to get ourselves into range of score. And so we also can't, like, just continue to grind the, or pound the clock, so. Oh, he was open. That was a poor throw. He was open right away. That we just got lucky they didn't pick that because he was wide open. All right, four down territory, like I said. Someone's gotta be open. Preferably A. There you go, Bush. All right. We still got three talents. We're in position to where we can to where we can get some points before halftime. Ideally you want six, but you gotta at least get three. So let's just keep pounding the football. Just gotta keep running it. Alright, hold on. I gotta be smart right here. Which you know I almost never am, so there's Perez. Now we're gonna call a timeout. Alright, it'll be third and one. Yeah, I know whose football it is. Three or four on third downs, even if we weren't going to get that one. We were going to go for it on fourth, so. Alright, we are basically in field goal range. 
So I guess anything to make this an easier field goal try would be definitely appreciated. He was open out of the back. Come on! We're going to run that play again. You're going to make the throw and hit him to where he can catch it. Like, holy cow. Like, come on, dude. There you go. We have eight twenty seven yards, two picks, yeah, not a good game right now. But that's okay. We didn't come back. I wasn't gonna force another throw and not have a chance to get anything. We need to make sure we get the three right here. And then preferably we need a touchdown. No! Really? He didn't have enough leg. That's awful. Shouldn't he, shouldn't, should it just... Just let him throw it up and knock. All right, there, half time. We got an interception. We need a touchdown to open the second half. Because we're only down by two scores because our defense is held twice to field goals. But we're down by 13. We need six on the opening drive of the third quarter. Got to have it. I thought we were going to have a field goal there, at least. We should have had a field goal the, at least the drive before that, and I just really messed up. And that's... Right there, the slant is open that time. Alright, back to Mook and the Clock. I just have a bad feeling we're going to lose, and I'm going to regret that interception in the goal line. Alright, so Olsen got hurt. Alright, again, just... Run the just run the clock and then run the ball. ball. Um, we're we'll subbing Jackson for right now. I don't want to risk it. There's not a ton of difference. I'm sorry, we just got, I know this is boring, but I want to get us back in this game, and to do that, we got to run the clock. Alright, what we'll play? Of course we're going to keep it on the ground. Because why won't we? It's working right now. we got to stick with it. You just put it in the hands of Kenneth Ryan. You don't even need to throw. You're just going to let Kenneth Ryan...
carry you on his shoulders right now. And then every once in a while you can throw a short pass, nothing that will be intercepted. Yeah, this is this is serious time right now. Because we're also going to need our defense to continue to play and, you know, hold to field goals. Actually, we're going to need just a flat-out stop at some point. I just fear I'm going to run out of time, even if we let them drive down and kick field goals. So we put ourselves in a position where the defense has to make a legitimate stop, like force a punt or get a turnover or something. Let's see if we can do it. Gotta have faith. Kenneth Ryan... He's going to, if we're going to win, he, it's going to be on his shoulders. If we are going to win this battle for, for Idaho, it's going to be, he's going to carry us and will us to victory single-handedly pretty much. Here we go. March on the field. I don't care how much time it takes. We need six. Like, down by 13, we can't really settle for three. If we had gotten the field goal down the first half or the drive before that when I threw a pick on third down in the red zone, maybe we could afford to settle for three here. But we need six. Actually, we need seven, but... Doesn't really matter. This is long... I mean, as long as the end result is we get a touchdown, I don't really care how we get there. And again, just run Kenneth Ryan. He might get 200 yards again just because we need to rely on. It's working, too. Like, don't maybe run to the outside as much, but run up the middle until they can stop, until they prove they can stop you. Yeah, so far they haven't. Oh, well, watch should say that, and they're gonna. No, they're not gonna stop us right here, Ryan. Another nine yards. I mean, five yards and up every, every play. Like even just four yards and up every play would be great. You'd get. I mean, you'd you'd win because you would continue to move the chains. Alright, first and goal. We're going to continue to run it. Oh, backup's in now, though. Oh, well. Doesn't matter. He's just not going to get any yards for us right there. That's all. Don't want to run it outside. We have not had success running outside at all. I mean, I feel like this, this is basically game, this drive. So we just got to focus. Oh, no. Uh, they were ready that time. Hopefully someone gets open. But, I mean, you have to go for it, right? Hopefully it won't matter. We'll get the touchdown right here. 
Alright, Kenneth White, let's go. That was in the past who declined it. We got the touchdown, that's what matters. <sighs> Kenneth White again, They're like, I will wait, I will wait, I will wait, and he got open. So that drive took six and a half minutes. We used almost the entire third quarter to get that drive done. But in the end, we got that drive done. And Nevada's beating BYU. Start of the fourth quarter right there. Their quarterback got three touchdowns. Fields. We're going to sim this kickoff. Yeah, we're on conservative. So I was just like, how? I just gotta be. Just gotta be ready. Oh, Weatherford's back from his injury. Great, they're continuing to go. No, I hate no huddle teams. I really do. Loss of six. Here we go. End of the third quarter here in the battle for Idaho. Boise stayed up 20 to 14. They got a third and 17 coming up, though. A third and 17 to start the fourth quarter. This could be the chance we needed to get off the field and have a chance to get the win. They are 0 of 2 on third downs. Here's third and 17. We'll give up short plays. Just don't give up anything that goes for 17. Or do. I mean, that works too. That's incredibly disappointing. You know, throw that away. All right, second down. <sighs> it's a game right now, fellas. Oh, no. You know what? That's okay. That was terrible defense. Alright, we just got to score more quickly this time, that's all. And they're going for two to straight up make it 14. We're going to regret not getting that touchdown when it was inside the red zone. I can just feel it. They don't get the two. So we need a big time kickoff return here to give us good field position. And then we need a score fairly quickly. And then we need the defense to get a stop. Now there was almost not a decent return, I guess. That's almost a 30. We got to get this win. So let's go get it. Face last 15 yards, let's go. Let's go. Already in Boise State territory, here we go. And like I said, we can't go away from the run, I mean. We just can't milk, completely milk the clock either because we're down two scores here in the fourth quarter. But it's okay. We got this. He was wide open. Miller, why do you keep doing this? Five of seven on third down. This is four down territory. 
I'm really sure that he had someone open and missed him. You know, someone's got to get open. Oh, we had to make a play. Our defense let us. It was third and seventeen to start the fourth quarter. I mean, it was, we had to do something. We were down two scores. Maybe if he doesn't miss a wide open guy on third, on second and four. They want to score again. I hate, I just didn't want to lose to Boise. I don't want to, I just didn't want to lose to Boise. Oh, here we are, we're going to lose to Boise. Unless we can somehow get a stop right here. But I wouldn't count on it. We did. We got to stop. Are they going to go for it, though? Probably. We need a big-time punt return if they actually punt it. Are you going to get out of there? That needs to go for a touchback, if nothing else. All right, we're going to get the ball back. We have one more chance. But we need points. And we need them quickly. Well, there goes White. 15 more yards. Let's go. Now it's about 15 right there. 15 more. It was 16 right there. With the extra 15 were past midfield already. Come on, dude. The event's got to stop. It's not going to matter. I mean, like he was open if he just lobs it to him. He should. We had our chances, we just goofed. We choked. So now we need them to goof. They did. Oh no, we're gonna give it back. They gave us a gift, and we just gave it right back. Man, they're, let, they're saving time. They're still going for it. I don't know why. Other than to run up the score, which, you know what, I hate them. Piss off. And they'll kick the field goal. It'll still be a two-score game, but we'll need two at some point.
They tried to give us a chance. They tried to gift it to us, but we we wanted to rough the passer. We had them stop for three. Against all odds, we still had another chance. But now they're going to get a touchdown, and that will be it. Unless we smear, unless by some miracle we somehow force a field goal, it will be game over. Too little, too late. Now they're getting smart and they're going to run the clock. We're going to need a kickoff return for six. And we need to actually wrap up and make the tackles. There's, why are they still going no huddle? I don't, I don't really know that it matters anyway, so... You didn't get in. We didn't deserve to win this game. Our quarterback play was too bad. Oh, well, we're going to have one more chance. Unbelievably, against all odds, we're going to have one more chance. But we got to save all of our timeouts. And then we gotta get a quick score and then an onside kick. And then we're gonna need a touchdown and a two point conversion. Weatherford got hurt again. Ultimately, that doesn't matter. We need a kickoff return, and we didn't get it. And now we got to throw deep. Like, there is not any time. And I see we're back to throwing piss poorly, Miller. Like, Miller has played awfully. He's missed open people. And a couple of the picks were my fault, but a couple of them, they weren't terrible throws. They were just, well, they weren't terrible decisions. They were just bad throws. Sorry, we had to lose eventually. There it is. Interception number five. Really just play like awfully today.
You know what doesn't matter? I should have been smarter and paid attention calling my third time out. It's not going to matter anyway. We didn't deserve to win. Maybe we can at least make the final look better. That's going to go out of bounds. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Well, we're going to get a last second touchdown with that. At least there's that. We're going to score one more, make the final score look a little more respectable. And look at that. It comes back to those missed opportunities earlier in the game. Just like always. No, we're not going to give up. We're going to try and keep fighting. And this is really the last play of the game. Well, they just played terrible. And the first two picks, those were my fault. Another couple of them came in desperation time after inaccurate throws led to we were... We were in trouble. At least we scored again. The final score is more respectable. That'll make me feel a little bit better. At least there's that. We were just out of time. Well, we kept fighting. That's all I'm going to say about that. We'll get up. That's all I'm going to say about that. Next time, next year, when we get Boise State, Miller will have hopefully fixed some of his accuracy issues. But I really believe those last three either were directly a result of or an indirect result of poor throws either earlier or on that particular play that led to a pick. The first two were my fault. One of them, one of them came on fourth down after he'd missed a wide open man, and then we tried another play and that didn't work. And we were in desperation mode at that point. I mean, the fifth one came, it was fourth down. We were still trying to do something. That came after another couple of inaccurate throws and a draw. And then there's a third one where it wasn't a bad read, it was just poorly thrown. Well, he at least had a good running game, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, Miller played like trash. Yep, Ryan, 21 for 139. I think we're, we're in the same division, so it doesn't matter. We're not going to get a play on again. So sorry, Kenneth, but you're not going to get a chance to beat Boise. Last well, score, Boise State 29, Idaho 22. Just 